Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about IFOM, which is which stands for International Foundation of Medicine. It's an self-assessment exam that produced by MBME, National Board of Medical Exam. National Board of Medical Exam, MBME, produces two types of exam: Yosemalese exam, which includes Yosemalese Step 1, Yosemalese Step 2 CK, and Yosemalese Step 3. And it also produces IFOM, International Foundation of Medicine. I'm going to give you a basic principle of IFOM. IFOM is considered as a mini USMLE exam and it's also act as an self-assessment of USMLE's exam. To understand this principle, you need to understand USMLE's exam. I'm going to make another video about USMLE's exam. Types of IFOM. IFOM has three types. First one is IFOM basic science exam and IFOM clinical science exam is the second type and the last type is self-assessment clinical science exam. The self-assessment clinical science exam is a self-assessment for iPhone clinical science exam and the name says it all. The basic principle, as I said, is a mini exam for your summary. So iPhone basic science exam is a mini exam and it's also a self-assessment exam for your summary step one iPhone clinical science is a mini exam and it's also a self-assessment exam for your SMLE step 2 CK. What I mean by self-assessment, if you are taking your SMLE step 1 exam, you can take iPhone basic science as a self-assessment so you can know your strengths and your weakness and how to improve your score. And if you are taking your SMLE step 2 CK, you can take iPhone clinical science as assessment so you know your, your strengths, your weakness and how to improve your score. Why we call it mini iPhone? Why we call iPhone mini exam for your summary? Because it's shorter in the length of the time period of the exam, and it also less difficult. The main important point and difference between both of them, besides the the difficulty and the time for the exam. For iPhone, you can take it in a specific period. But for your SMLE exams, you can take it throughout the year. So if you are taking iPhone, you need to check early the time period and, you, and to prepare before that time period. What's the importance of iPhone? And why we're talking about it from the start? iPhone is very important because it's recognized in different countries and it's recognized by different institutions. For example, if you're studying in Ukraine, I hope that the dilemma between Ukraine and Russia get resolved soon. If you are studying in Ukraine, you know that you need to pass CROC 1 and CROC 2. You require to pass this exam. If you, are, if you took iPhone basic science, you are exempted from CROC 1. And if you took iPhone clinical science, you are exempted from CROC 2. If you are not studying in Ukraine, this is not apply to you. It do, this, this is, uh, don't bother if you are not studying in Ukraine about the CROC exam. The other country that recognize, the other institution that recognize iPhone is Hamad in Qatar. Hamad Medical Cooperation. It recognizes it recognizes iPhone for the internship program and for the residency program with different score. Hamad Medical Cooperation recognizes iPhone for basic iPhone clinical science for the residency and the internship. So if you are if you have the intention to apply to Hamad Medical Cooperation, you don't need to take basic science exam because it's not needed not for the internship and uh, neither for the internship nor for the residency so you don't need basic iphone basic science for hamad medical cooperation iphone also recognized in a jalila children hospital in dubai which has a children which has a residency program for pediatrics and it's also um, 
recognized in American University in Beirut. It is the most important institution that recognized iPhone. Okay, regarding the price, price of iPhone basic science is 200 and price of iPhone clinical science is $300, of course. And the time period differ. You need to check the website mbme.org and I'm going to provide the website on the description so you will know the time period for the basic science or for clinical science. Okay, the format of the question, both iPhone basic science and iPhone clinical science are multiple choice question. You need to choose the best answer and they are around 160. So four blocks, each block is 400 question. You need to answer in four hours. So every hour has 40 question. You will have first 80 question and then you can have a break for 15 minutes and then second 80 question. So two hours, 15 minutes break and two hours before the exam. The score of the iPhone, I took the exam and I score, I took the basic science exam, not the, I, sorry, I took the clinical science exam, not the basic science exam. I scored 85%, which is a new score format. There's no fail or pass like your similes. There is required score for the institution that you're applying for. For example, if you want to apply to internship of Hamad, you need to you need to be you need to have percentage of you need to get 60 percent for the internship for the residency you need to get around 73 percent i think i'm going to provide a link for the requirement for hamad the main point is for the for the internship around 60 percent for the clinical science exam of course you don't need to take the basic science exam as we said and for the residency around 73 percent and of course there's other requirement like OAT and you need to be graduated in the last five years so I'm going to provide I'm going to provide the details of the requirement for Hamad medical cooperation the other uh, as I said is 80 it's a percentage and each institution require basic score so it's not fail or pass there's no fail or pass. A last point I'm going to talk about is the resources. Resources for iPhone basic science are the same resources for Rio's MLA step one. And resources for iPhone clinical science are the same resources for Rio's MLA step two CK. And I already made a video about the resources you will find in that channel, in this channel. And I'm going to provide the link for this video too. So you can watch the resources for iPhone. That's all the point. Um, if you want more information or you want to get, you want to understand more, I'm going to provide all the links. I'm going to provide the MBME link so you can check exactly the format of the exam and when you can take it, the price, how you should be. And also I'm going to provide uh, the website for Hamad Medical Cooperation requirement so you can check the requirement and Al Jalila Children Hospital requirement. You need to check the description in the video. It will be very helpful. Thank you and good luck.